What's up YouTube? What's good? I hope you're well. Um, tonight I've come out for a bit of a photo shoot um, in Auckland City tonight. I want to get some practice in so I'm going to come down to the central city, get some snaps. Uh, we've got the great sky tower over to my right looking stunning. We've got the harbour bridge there looking lit up as well. So um, I'm just walking over a cool footbridge here across the motorway. As you can probably see behind me, it's probably a bit noisy as well. So. Um, I want to get some snaps, just do a bit of practice. Um, I saw some cool shots on Instagram um, that I really like, so I want to try and emulate a little few of those, just to, again, try and learn about the settings, understand a bit more about photography, particularly night photography, and um, just get out and practice. We're talking about practice, man. So uh, join me in what I learned tonight, and I'll show you and teach you, and hopefully we can learn together and get some tips and tricks. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm just going to put my camera on a tripod and then my idea is just to stand here, do a bit of a pose, um, get some shots, see how that goes. So apologies if it's really noisy, I've just got the motorway just screaming underneath me so you can probably see it in the background. But um, yeah, just the end of the game is what settings to put it on. So I'm going to have it about an ISO 200, probably have it at about an F7.1. Um, and then adjust my shutter speed as I need to. So, um, yeah, let's just see how we go. The cool thing about my camera is I've got a remote to it, so it actually shows whatever I can see on here, shows on my camera there. So, the cool thing about that way, I can get my position ready just tap on that there and then it gets focused by just clicking on that so it just gets focused and then I can push the shutter from here as well so good little bonus is that the Wi-Fi is my camera it creates a um, remote for it so that's how I can get my focus and everything like that so see how we go Cool, so now we've got the photos, we've put them into the laptop, um, we've put, brought them up on Lightroom, so now we can really dive in to see what they look like. Um, they probably don't really give it that much justice when you're looking on a phone or on the back of your camera. It's not until you get into the laptop do you really see um, what they come out like. So let's jump in and see what they come up like. So we can see here on the first one, um, it's not looking too bad. I mean, first of all, the, the bridge, the detail on the bridge is really nice and crystal clear. Um, using that, um, as you can see up here, F8.0 with a 3.2 second uh, shutter speed with an ISO of 200. But when you dive into the subject myself, you can sort of see there's a lot of blurred lines there. It's because I must have horsed around and um, moved in the sh while the shutter was open. So that's kind of blurred that one out. Again, you can see up here on the cap, that's quite blurry, but if we scroll down, um, not looking too bad there because obviously my feet were still, it's just my upper body was moving around. Um, same again here, um, you can sort of see some, see some blurred lines there. So um, it obviously must've been a bit of movement during the shutter speed. What I was trying to do actually was use my phone as a remote. Um, I mentioned in the video just before that I was using it as a remote with my camera, so I was wi fi one another. So what I was trying to do is I was using a two second timer, hitting the shutter on my phone and then quickly trying to put it in my back pocket. And while I was doing that, I must have been moving around while the shutter was open. That's why I would have got a few blurred images here. So if we look at this one here coming up as well, clearly I'm moving around a lot uh, too much. So um, you can sort of see what happens when you are moving around within the, when the shutter's open. You can see down here that I've got my phone in my hand, so that means I was using a remote, so I was quickly trying to put it down in my pocket before the shutter opened. Um, what was happening is I was stumbling around and that's created a bit of movement. So then what I did is I changed it from a two second countdown to a 10 second countdown, and that gave me a bit more time for me to put my phone in my pocket and get myself ready for the shot. So as you can see here, um, the images are starting a little bit, looking to be a bit better. You can still see here in the YKTR logo, there's a bit of blur movement, plus also around uh, my face area. So obviously I was still moving too much. Um, if we go into the next photo, getting a little bit better. 
What's with these? I need to. I need to learn how to model. I have no idea about how to model. If you've got any comments or any suggestions, please feel free to put in the in the comments below. I'm, I'm happy to take some advice. Um, as you can see through the shots, I'm getting a little bit better here. So obviously I stayed still for a little bit longer than I did previously. So this one I came out a little bit cleaner. Um, so I'm kind of happy with that one there. And then the same with this one here, it stood really still. So I think I even took a breath in, held my breath for the 3.2 seconds of the shutter speed and um, waited for it to, to finish before I breathed out again to really try to stay still. So, so yeah, so it's always nice to be able to bring them back into Lightroom to sort of really see what the detail of it's like. Um, always learning, so it's just nice to be able to see, okay, what we can do next time, what we can do better next time. So, okay, cool. So let's get back into, into the vlog. Cool, got a couple of good shots there, I think, but on our way to another joint um, to see what else we can get next. I've, in my phone, I've saved a bunch of different um, photos and I've put them under a specific folder about some photo ideas. And so that really helps me as a reference point when I come out to shoots like this, I can just reference to them quickly straight away. Sometimes you have a bit of a mind blank when you go out shooting and you just want to forget what you want to shoot. So um, having something like a quick reference like um, Something you save on your phone about some ideas you can shoot um, is a really good idea when you go out and about so you can quickly go to the next next location. So, um, okay, cool. Let's go to the next one. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems that solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Hey, so I found this cool spot um, just down by the viaduct. So you got the main and the main part of the viaduct down, is down that way. Um, got the harbour bridge just over here. So I know, check out the size of this boat here. It is a monster. It's huge. I think that's somebody's toy. Anyway, I saw this really cool photo um, that Nifty Few put up. I think it's really cool. And I thought I, I wouldn't mind trying to emulate something like that. And this is the photo here. Um, then I think I th found the spot. So if we look at it. So I think, like looking at the photo, that there looks quite a bit. So that there could be the like that part of it underneath there. So. I really dig what the guy's done here um, and I thought I might try and emulate that somehow so a um, bit of a spotlight up there which is cool to so shine down on here um, I've got my tripod just set up here and so we'll try and figure out how we're gonna um, take this here so um, I've got my setting on ISO 200 uh, probably gonna have about an f-stop of f8 and then just dial in my shutter speed of what I needed so um, yeah, hopefully it turns out okay. Just check it out, see what happens. Cool, thanks so much for watching team. Um, I hope you got a bit of value out of that um, with the camera settings. It's just going out and trialing things. A good way to learn is um, see some ideas, get some inspiration from Instagram, screenshot it, save it into a little folder on your phone, and then when you get to your venue, you can sort of pull them out and then try and emulate those kind of photos. More about learning how to, and learning about your camera settings and practicing and things like that. So hopefully I got the shot of this one here. I really dig the one that the team put up at um, Nifty Few. So um and shout out to the to the artist that put that up so um okay let's go